Um, I did want to explain to you the penalty system. The rule is if this is the offense and this is the defense and we're running full speed and we hit each other head on and we come like this, there's no foul on anybody. Okay? As long as I'm in front as a defender, as long as I'm in front of the offense and as long as we come at the same speed, there's no foul. Okay? So I'm going to uh, let me have someone small come on up. All right, so you're on offense, and offensively, as a shooter, she'd have her arm up like this, and she'd get ready to throw, right? So as, on defense, as long as I'm in front of her, I can do almost anything to her except maybe smack her in the face, okay? Um, so the problem comes in is when she starts moving side to side. It's my job. I have to make sure that I stay in front of her because I'm not allowed to hit her from the side, and I'm not allowed to hit her from behind, okay? Because as a shooter, she can't see me coming from those two positions. She can't, she can't brace herself for that. They shove, and they get a two-minute penalty. And the ref will blow the whistle, and he'll throw you out of the game for two minutes. So obviously then, if you get a two-minute penalty, and your teammates have to play down a man, if they score on you, then on offense, what should you do? Should you, yeah, you shouldn't get in a hurry, right? Because you've got to get rid of that two-minute penalty so that your guy can come back on and you can be full strength. So you kind of just want to pass the ball around out here, not really make too many attacks. But the problem is, is there's also what they call a stalling penalty. And if the, if the referee does that, he, it, it's a warning that you're about to get a stalling penalty, penalty called on you, which is a turnover, and they, the other team gets the ball. Now, when I hit her from the side and I get thrown out for two minutes, I can get two of those, but the third one is an automatic red card. So if I'm really dirty, my third one, I'm gone. And I do this, and I t we call that tying her up. That's a penalty, but it's a nine meter penalty. There's also a dotted line that goes on around here that we saw in the video that we didn't put down today. But all of your offensive restarts start from that nine meter penalty. So I can foul her as many times as I want. She's going to get the ball back. I have to go to the six. She goes to the nine, and we start over. And I can do that a million times a game. I don't foul out for that. And then she's got to pass it, right? She can't shoot. She's got to pass it from there, and they start up their offense again. But at least I've stopped the attack. And it's kind of frustrating for the offense because they have to keep starting over and over again. Okay, But I can do as many nine-meter fouls as I want. As long as I'm in front of her, I can stop her like that and tie her up. Now, after your two-minute penalty is up, you can't come back in the game, but another teammate can come in. So you're not playing down a man for the rest of the game. It's still just a two-minute penalty, but you cannot return if you get a third one. Now, I can also, as an official, I could go straight to a red card. Okay, And that would be, remember when we were doing the fast breaks? That would be like if you were going up for a fast break and I came up behind you and just whoosh, took you out. The referee's going to come right at you with a red card for that because that's just unnecessary. It's dangerous, so they're going to throw you out. That's unsporting. Okay. We also have yellow cards, and those are just warnings. So like, let's say our circle runners were in here and they're fighting and they're pushing around. They might give you a yellow card if it was getting too dirty in there. And they'd say, hey, yellow card, knock that off. You do it again, I'm going to give you a two minute. And then that's when the penalties escalate. So you'd start with a yellow, you'd go to a two minute, and then possibly a red card if you had three two minutes or if you did something really stupid. Okay? Now, the other thing is, is if she breaks through the defense and she jumps in and she's flying in the air and she's in the circle and I grab her or I hit her, she's already past the line, I'm going to get a two minute, I'm going to get tossed out for two minutes, and she's going to get a penalty shot, which is right here. That's called a seven meter shot. So you can use those in your classroom. If you think a kid is being too dirty or you, you think he fouled too hard or whatever, or this kid was going to make the shot, okay, that's usually, I mean, it's usually what it's for. This girl was going to score. She was wide open. She was in the air. It's one-on-one -on -one with the goalie, and all of a sudden, boom, she gets hit. So now we say, okay, you get a penalty shot, and it's one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. The only difference is, is you cannot move. So you put your foot up to the seven-meter line. You get three seconds to shoot after the whistle, and then you just fake or do whatever you want, and then try to score on the goalie. 
and you almost always score on those shots. 